Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be talking about all of the different third party applications that I use in my videos, recordings and etc. I've reviewed quite a few of them on this channel and so today we're going to find out which ones I actually use. All right, so as you can see, there are a ton of third party applications back here and we're going to talk about them in probably what I'm going to try to do as as most important or least important to the most important. Um, but uh, I may fiddle around with that a little bit here, but we'll just have to see how things go. So first one on our list here is Luke Airtool. Luke Airtool offers an incredible um, immersion addition to the aircraft, um, especially if you're someone who enjoys flying the commercial aircraft. As you get passenger loadouts, you get audio packs, announcement messages, uh, safety messages, uh, descent messages, you name it, everything that you would hear as a passenger coming down or, or flying on a commercial airliner. That is the primary purpose that I use it. Um, I really do enjoy it. It really does add a lot, especially when when you're flying in VR. Um, it makes a lot of fun having that audio in the background. So I definitely recommend if you guys have not tried this, this is again Luke Air Tool. Link down to all of these down in the description below, but this is completely free of charge and a lot of fun to use. Next on our list, and this is one that just recently caught the attention, is um, Rex Real Global Airport Textures. Now I did a review on this, and by the way guys, I'm not showing footage on this because it would just be intensely long and I just really want to get the information out. So what this does is en enhances the airport ground textures of the airports globally around the world. Everything from the taxiways to runways, to, uh, divide lines. And what you can do is you can either set it to, for example, here's my installation directory. You can either set it to completely clean markings or you can have some you know, light use on the runway, heavy use, or used on the taxiways. I sort of like the more used uh, feel to it, um, but to each their own. I will say that the taxiway clean markings here, this one here on the new, it looks very, very nice, very, very vibrant. Um, but it really enhanced the textures. And I had used one previously, um, and I can't remember the name of it now, but it was like enhanced airport graphics. I think it was called. Um, and it was good, but I also noticed some weird stuttering and some graphical impact or, or some performance impact where this one I've noticed absolutely none. Um, I will hand it to Rex on this one. This one absolutely took me by storm um, and I've really enjoyed the texture improvements that this provides. Um, now you can do one of two things when you set up your folder. You can either choose the packages or the community folder or if you, for example, if using like add-ons linker, which we'll get to in a minute, you can have it installed into your mods directory and that way you could use something like add-ons linker to remove it and add it at will. So again, this is a payware. Um, and again, link down in the description below. I'll let you guys go and check it out and decide for yourselves if it's worth it. Um, but I really, really have enjoyed the visual enhancement that this uh, little application provides. For our next one, sticking with Rex for a moment. This one initially, when it first came out, this is Rex Weather Force. And when it first came out, I was actually extremely disappointed with it. Um, I was not impressed at all with the weather engine service. I did not like the way it updated. It caused some uh, pretty severe stuttering and performance loss. Um, however, I will, am very happy to say that in my last quite few videos I would say I use this in the background and it has been flawless I haven't had any issues with it the weather is doing exactly what I expect it to do um, and uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous I, I love what they've done with it I love the improvements that have been made with it my only criticism to this particular software is that it does not auto update meaning that every time there's an update you must re-download it you have to uninstall the current version and reinstall the new one um, my I, I think that's that's probably my only gripe and it's a big gripe for me because it's a pain in the butt to do it um, and I guess because of where we're at I mean 2021 that really shouldn't be a thing today in my opinion from a payware software 
Okay, but other than that, again, that's my only gripe is that you have to manually update it. Um, so if that's all I can come up with, I think that's a, still a pretty good uh, uh, point for Rex there. Um, so again, very awesome weather engine service. I absolutely love it. I still love it over the default engine, um, especially with given the uh, consistently inaccurate live weather reported from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So again, link down in the description below. Make sure you guys check this one out because I think you'll really enjoy it. Coming up to our next one is Sim Toolkit Pro. Now, this is an application that does literally everything. Everything from flight planning to scheduling, create a logbook, create a fleet, landing reports, streaming options. This is great for any of you live content. We're gonna be using this here pretty soon on the channel. I'm finally getting us set up for um, some live streams. Um, I'm nervous as all heck, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna jump on board. I've been, I've been avoiding it because I'm basically being a chicken you know what. <laughs> so, but uh, this is an incredible, incredible tool. It does absolutely everything. Checklist, wind calculator, network um, settings. Um, you can actually bounce it around based on what network you're setting to. You can uh, attach to networks. Um, it just is, I, I can't go on and on. The dashboard here gives you everything from a live map. These are people who are actively using it and flying on the different uh, servers. Now, I believe this does join um, a little bit of everything. I don't think it's, as far as the world map goes, I don't believe it's restricted to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I could be mistaken on this. It's been a while since I've looked into that. Um, again, the live airport map or live flight map, it just has everything. You guys can see all the functionality that's on up here. I will say the learning curve is a bit on the intent side. Um, um, it, it truly is. Um, it took me a while to get to you get used to it, and I'm still very, very uh, green when it comes to using this app. But I'm trying to use it more and more because I truly do love it. It is an amazing application, and I think has the potential to become truly an all-in-one as far as third-party applications. So, anyway, guys, that is Sim Toolkit Pro. Again, link down in the description. Make sure you guys check this one out. It is extremely handy to have on board. The next one, which is no stranger to my channel, but I want to bring it up again, is Sky Dolly. Now, I have used payware recording softwares from other developers, and 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 um, this freeware application, Sky Dolly, which can be found on FlightSim.2's website, again linked on the description, is the best that I have seen. And I haven't messed around with this next part yet, but it even has the option to introduce formation flying based on previous recordings. Is my understanding of it. So you can record a flight, then refly that flight and then add other aircraft to fly in formation with and I believe that's just scratching the top of what that particular portion of this service can do um, but as far as the actual recordings themselves they have been absolutely flawless I've been thoroughly impressed it records everything from um, aircraft control position landing gear position flaps you name it the replays are flawless I haven't had any issue with them whatsoever every time you hit a um, Recording position once you hit the record button it records location like that should pick it up for a second here. Yep. There we go We have the uh, just flight uh, PA 28 pause there in the background and you can see it loads it or it saves it And then you can come over here and you can title it as you wish you can remove it delete it You name it. It's 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 truly fantastic I'm, I'm really impressed with how this little software has come along and again I am barely scratching the surface of it this is extremely handy if you are someone who likes to save particular flight plans. If you're someone who wants to practice particular approaches, put yourself on a long approach, save the location, and then boom, you can simply go back and repeat it as many times as you want. You can replay, you can change aircraft and still save that location. Really, really handy piece of software. And again, 100% completely free of charge. I'm absolutely blown away by this given the fact that again i've tried two different payware applications although both good this one still takes the cake it's the least performance impacting and provides a lot of um, features for the flight simmer and i want to stress you guys this is not just for people who are interested in um, doing youtube content or anything like that Again, think about the applications. You can save particular locations very quickly, load into them, spawn. You can be flying around and decide, no, I don't want to fly here anymore. Click the load button, boom, you're transported to another location on the globe based on the last time you hit the recording. You can use it to practice your landings, your takeoffs, your approach. Again, I can go on and on. It has a ton of use um, for the non-content creator just as much as for content creation. For content creation in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I highly recommend this one. I have uh, seen people who have reported that they can't find a recording software that works well anymore. Trust me, this one does great. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to our next one. 
Next, we come up to my second to what I would call the number one priority, and that is mobile companion application. This is an application that simply launches in the background. This is the window that gets logged. And then from any browser connected to your Wi-Fi network or local network, doesn't necessarily have to be Wi-Fi, but for example, a laptop, a cell phone, an iPad, it does not matter. As long as you can hit the local page here, you are able to launch this application. And from this application, you get the map as we just saw here that I just clicked out of like a dork. Um, you have navigation controls, comm controls, autopilot panel, your lights panel, other functionalities, look at this, spoilers, gear up, flap settings, rudder trims, name it. Um, then we can come over to the data pad um, and you get your current indicated airspeed. You know, I don't use this page as much. This one I use a ton. Probably my favorite feature is this right here and I'm gonna show you why in just a second here. I'm gonna drag this off the screen for just a minute. Normally when flying Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you want to be flying around, you're looking at gauges, whatever, don't worry about what the aircraft does. If it crashes, it crashes. We're not really concerned about that for this particular portion. But if we want to pause, okay, if we want to take a look at gauges, we're taking screenshots, getting notations, whatever, this is what we get for pausing, okay? Now you can come up here to the active pause, okay? But then you still get the toolbar up on top and we don't want that. Oh, okay, it just made a liar out of me. It used to be able to do that. But anyway, we unpause, and what I really like about this particular version is we come up here and hit pause, and it stops everything. Okay, notice the difference here. So if I hit play, propeller is moving, fuel still being burned, etc. Time is still passing. But if I come up to the active pause, okay, that's what we're getting there. So fuel burning, etc. But when I use this one, propeller stops, screen stops, everything stops. Now I can still come over here and control things. Of course, now it's making a liar out of me again. I was just doing this in the Cessna Citation Longitude, guys, so maybe it's based on certain aircraft, but for example, if I unpause it, you'll see both of those move, yep. So it depends on what you're doing, okay? It's got its pros and cons, obviously, but this is extremely handy, and the other thing is the sim rate. Very quickly access your sim rate and know what the sim rate is. Boom, there's two four, six, or excuse me, two, four, eight, and goes up to 16, and the autopilot limits it at 16. But then simply back it back down, and we have full control. You wanna get up, get a drink, go watch a movie, you know, while you're mid-flight, you know, you're on a four-hour cross-country, whatever, you can simply, as long as you have this attached to your network, you can see where your aircraft's at. If you load your flight plan with, or create the flight plan within the world map in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it will actually, you can load the flight plan and it will show you what your current flight route is and where you are in the plan. So again, if you're looking for things like top of descent, things like that, um, you're able to step away and go do some other things and just simply quick check on your mobile phone or application, boom, you're set and ready. I highly recommend this, this is probably while in simulator, this is my number one app. I use this thing constantly, constantly. Um, you know, I've got kids and family and things like that, you know, and sometimes get work calls, so I have to be able to monitor my flight, otherwise I just lose it, right? So, highly recommend that. Again, link down in the description below. So coming down to the wire here, we have two more, sorry, not one more, we have two more, but they're both um, handle things in a similar way. This is the very recently introduced MSFS Community Downloader. This thing is absolutely fantastic for downloading particular sets of mods. Now it can do way more than what I'm gonna demonstrate here, I just haven't had the time to sit down and figure it out yet. But so, for example, notice that none of these are showing as found, okay? Cessna 208B Improvement Mod, okay? It tells you basically what it does here, it aims to fix many of the issues presented with the stock version. Okay, boom, I want it, I install it. The uh, Cessna 182T by Coronado. You know, this thing uh, had absolutely no checklist in it that was according to real world operation. Now we have that. Boom, hit install. Now it's there. The Mix Mugs TBM 930. I swear by this mod. I love this mod. Okay, boom, install it. Okay, and you can do that with all of these. Here's your working title CJ4. Here's the G1000. Here's the G3000. If you're flying anything as TBM 930, Cessna Citation Longitude, you definitely want this particular mod. Um, and anything else with the Garmin 1000s, you want that one. I mean, you do not want to fly without those two if you're using any of the Garmin screens. And then finally, the uh, G3X. 
If you want to use flyby wires, A32 and X. Now this uses the stable version. This will not give you the development version, which is why I don't use it. I fly with the development, but if you want the stable version, boom, grab that, install it. Salty 747. Um, why can I not remember their name? Heavy division, guys, right there in front of my face. Uh, they're 787. There's our 747. I mean, just really awesome. The G36, this is a massive improvement to the G36. And again, all in one quick application. Uh, JP Logistics Cessna 152 is, I would say, as close as you can get to, for example, X-Plane 11 or P3D's Cessna 152, given the simulator's current limitations. If you guys haven't tried that, I highly recommend that. And again, if you want to remove it, you just come over here, click the Remove button, and you're done. Um, PMS5, GNS530. PMS5 is the ones who also did the GTN750. I purchased that. It's an incredible application. They've done amazing work. So again, let's install the 530. That's absolutely free. So a great... Um, tool for managing probably what I would consider here the most popular uh, aircraft and system modifications. I would say I, I can't think of anything that comes above the work and title modifications, the mix, mug, mix mugs TBM 930, and then uh, definitely again uh, JP Logistics 152 and the 530. So again, really awesome application, completely free to download, no charge whatsoever, link down in the description. And finally, my number one application that I would highly recommend everybody uses if you do any kind of modding whatsoever, aircraft, aircraft, liveries, um, scenery, tools, you name it, this thing is absolutely fantastic and it is by far my favorite add-on. So to give you guys a real cool quick rundown and I don't use it to its maximum capability I use it probably at a very high level usage um, in the aspect that I don't dive in deep with it I, I I'm very I'm, I'm a simpleton when it comes to this particular mod but so here's what it does this application is looking at this directory notice the correlation here aircraft aircraft liveries checklists etc so I can come in here and I create my aircraft folders now they have their mods inside of them. Same thing with the scenery. Okay, the scenery is another good one. Scenery, I can come on here, open it up. I can break it down to United States, by the state, by the city if you choose. Okay, so boom. <clears throat> it all depends on how deep you want to go with your organization. And what I love about this add-on is it very easily recognizes all of those folder locations. Let's go to scenery. It's probably the best one. Go to United States. Okay, and let's say I wanted to pull, you know, everything from California. Okay, I have KVX there. Okay, I want to drop that one. Or let's say, let's see, let's find one that's got more than one. Here we go, New York. Let's say I didn't like the financial district, you know, addition. Let's say it was having issues. I just pull that one out and I can leave the rest out. Or if I want to install all of my mods, I can come in here. And it enables everything that I had in here. And again, to quickly remove it, if we're having to do some troubleshooting or maybe we're about to update, a patch has been released, I always recommend removing your mods and add-ons, scenery, doesn't matter. Empty your community folder out or move it out at least uh, before you do a patch. Uh, you'll find that your headaches will become less frequent. Um, but anyway, a very, very awesome application. Now you can come over here as well too and you can... Uh, put your um, links in as far as locations. So for example, let me drop something in here because these aren't a part of it. It's still scanning what is in the community folder. If you look, these are all the uh, downloads that we use that community downloader for. But if we put an aircraft back in, for example, let's, uh, for example, P40. P40, that is a uh, third party purchase application. I just drop it into my mods directory. This way, I can, again, I can control it. Longitude, flight model modification. The DA62X, highly recommend that one if you're not using it. Um, System 172 Amphibian, that one was fun. And speaking of which, the Grumman Goose had a lot of fun with that one the other day. So then you can come over here, okay, and you can see what the link target is. So this tells you what the directory that this aircraft was installed from, okay. Uh, it just, I can go on and on. There's still a ton of information that I don't know about it, and it's because I don't use it to that level. I just, I, I'm very comfortable with my process here. I'm happy with it. It works well for me. Um, so I highly, highly recommend if you do any mods or add-ons, and I know there's a couple of different tools out there, but I truly believe this one to be the best one because you can set presets as well. You can create a preset if you wanted to just have a specific aircraft, couple of different li specific liveries. Maybe you just wanted to have the Arizona scenery in for, for a specific flight. You know, you're trying to keep your community folder empty. You can just load a preset. Okay. Today I'm flying that preset, my Arizona preset. Boom. 
everything for Arizona is loaded in. And you can remove it as is. So really, really awesome tool. Again, completely free and very, very user friendly. Um, so anyways, guys, that is my list of mods, add-ons, or, or excuse me, my list of applications from third-party developers that I use on an almost um, every flight basis kind of thing. So um, I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you found it valuable. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. If there's anything else that you guys uh, want to talk about or any other applications you'd like me to take a look at, please feel free to hit me up. And uh, I will see you guys, as always, in the next one.